Hey guys, and welcome to an original retry this production. Today, I'll be doing a Game Maker tutorial teaching you how to create paths in Game Maker. You can do this in Game Maker Lite or Pro, it doesn't matter. So, first, what you have to do, you have to make sure Game Maker is in advanced mode. So, go to File and make sure there's a check next to it, advanced mode. If there isn't, then click on it. Okay, so what paths are basically, paths are basically paths that objects follow. If you make a, a line, the, a line path, the object will follow the line. If you make a circle, the object will follow the circle. So I have an object here, obj underscore coin underscore path. It's a simple coin object I just duplicated from my previous tutorial on creating money. And we're going to make this object follow a path. In this case, I'll make a circular path probably. So the object will move in a circular shape. So to create a path, right click and press on paths and press create path. So I'll call this path path underscore coin. And so let's see what we can do. Let's just make a path as an example to show to better demonstrate it. So let's see, put a line here, there, right here. So the ugly path. I don't know what this is, but Um, yeah, that's okay for now. So, here's where the path will start, right there. And then it'll go to the next one, which is here, there, 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 and then it'll go back to the beginning, which is right here. That's what the path will do. So the object will follow that path and do exactly what I just did. But we're not going to use this path for our example, so just delete them. Let's make it circular. So let's put smooth curve so we can make it circular. So let's put it here. Or better yet, let's use a feature. This is the room preview button. So we can have a preview of the room the path is going to be in. So we can better look at it. So levels in room, platform engine, basic room. Here's the coin object. And this is the room the path is going to be in. So we can better make it and to the specifications. Let's put make a circle here. Here, here. This is an ugly circle, but who cares? Let's see. It looks like a giant pool. Stretch it out a bit. Yeah, this is an ugly circle thing. I don't know. Okay, I don't know what this is. This is a thing. Okay, it's not a circle. It's a thing. So that's all we really need. The p object will follow that path. So now we have to tell the object to follow the path. So we're going to right click on it. We're going to add an event, create event. And tell the set path in the move tab, which is the first one. We're going to go to set path, path and press set path. Path will tell it to follow the coin path, a speed of 4. Now at the end of the path, we can tell it to stop. Continue from start, which is just it'll redo the whole thing again. Continue from the current spot it's at, which would be the end, or reverse, which is just it reverses directions. We'll tell it to continue from start. Relative, now what relative does is it creates the path relative to the object's position or where it's placed in the, le in the room editor. So if you place the object at the corner of the room, the path will start at the corner of the room. Absolute is absolute means that the path will start wherever the path was created in the path editor. So if you create the path at the other another corner of the room, the path will start at that corner of the room. Well, we'll select relative for now. Okay. And these are just path editing features you can use. You can combine them with a trigger event or an if if condi if else condition, whatever you want. It's an end path. It just stops the path. So that's all we really need. Just press OK for now. And let me show you what it looks like. So here's the coin object following the path. You can tell this is our path because this is it is following one ugly circle. Yeah, that's an ugly circle. Or thing or whatever that is. As you can see, it's following a definite path, continuing on it continuously over and over again. 
Now, now I caught the coin. As I said, it was part of my creating money tutorial earlier. So I got a thousand dollars. Yeah. This has been an original retry this production. I hope